The Tempest is a play about a magician named Prospero who is weaving his final spell. The play combines fairy tale romance, comedy, tragedy, supernatural elements, and historical intrigue. The way that director Meg Rowe choreographed the opening scene with a giant rope, think tug of war size as the boat on a rocky sea, it truly transported you to a magical place. Once the initial storm was over, we got to meet more of the characters. While Lily Baudouin's Miranda was more affected than anything, the strongest female in the cast had to be Jennifer Lyons, who played the sprite Ariel. Lyons, who won a Jesse Richardson Theatre Award for her portrayal of Ariel in 2008, was again nothing but perfect. She was strong, vulnerable, and always ready to go with a cocked right foot and fingers that never rested. Caliban, the island-raised monster who worked for Prospero, was also a standout performance. Played by Todd Thompson, Caliban was both threatening and defenseless. This was the first time that I've actually cried for Caliban. When the two sisters, Trinkula, played by Lucia Jojic, and Stefana, played by Naomi Wright, entered the story, it was more than welcomed. The dance that the ladies led had the entire audience laughing and clapping, and the scene between the two of them and Caliban was definitely knee-slapping. In the second half, everything became more grandiose. When Ariel warns the stranded passengers of their fate, the wings she had on literally filled the entire stage. It was beautiful. I heard an audience member behind me say, wow, there's a sight. The play wrapped up with a heartfelt goodbye from Prospero. When he finally released Caliban and Ariel, I began to cry. He, Prospero, was releasing his only friends. It truly was a magical show. I've seen The Tempest many times before, and I've even been in it, and I know that I never connected with the show the same way as I did this time with Bart on the Beach. Bravo. A CKNW Theatre Review by Devin Taylor.